All right, let's go. Good evening, First Farmers Bacon Trust is proud to sponsor the Hoosier Ag Today broadcast of the Indiana 4-H Supreme Drive for the 2023 year. Absolutely. First Farmers has been committed to rural communities for 138 years since their founding in 1885. We appreciate the ability to, to sponsor this broadcast because of the relentless passion and relationships that are associated with this project. Tonight you'll see a diversity of different animals and breeds kids from different aspects of the entire state of Indiana, just like First Farmers covers the state from north to south and into eastern Illinois. We have 35 branches, many loan officers that are first generation off the farm. And it's these relationships in agriculture that really keep us going. What's extra special tonight is that we're gonna be selecting the best females of these different breeds, different species, to, to recognize them. Because any part, any, any family business so you'll recognize the female, the mother, the grandmother, leaves a legacy. And all the animals that you see tonight, we'll be able to leave, leave a legacy going forward. And we think that's extra special when we talk about our commitment to agriculture, these farm families that we work with and, and small businesses we work out work with throughout the state of Indiana. The youth that you see tonight are our next generation in agriculture. We hope that they take the work ethic, the commitment, the compassion that it takes to take care of an animal from start to finish, the ups and downs that go with raising animals. Farming is a difficult game to get into. You've got to have people on your side. You've got to have, sometimes you have to have a hand up to have the ability to do that. And First Farmers has the relationships. We've got next generation lenders. We've got lenders with talent all the way from a 22 year old that just graduated from Purdue to the, the seasoned veteran that's been there for 40 years. And so when we go into an operation, we can connect with both levels. And you know, just like this, is, this doesn't end tonight for these animals. Farming is, is a multi-year, multi-generational commitment. And so are we. This is our sport. And we're glad that you're here to watch it with us tonight. from Jasper County. This is my fourth year in 4-H. I just won the Indiana State Fair Guild Show. There's not really any words to describe it. I'm just overjoyed and happy. My pig's name is Reese's Pieces, and she's just a really nice animal. She's just really neat looking and heavy legged. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing the guilt project, and I plan to do goats next year. Keep on working and just trying, and you'll eventually get here. From your year window division, congratulations, Grace Ellis, Johnson County. I'm Grace Ellis. I've been showing goats for seven years. I'm from Johnson County, and I just won overall grand percentage show at the Indiana State Fair. I'm really excited, super pumped. I've been showing goats for probably eight years. I started right before I started 4-H. My goat's name is Sally, and what I really like about her is her personality. She's super sweet and always like loving. She was super excited to be out there today. I would say just keep trying, don't be discouraged, never give up, just be confident in yourself. My name's Tegan Walker. It's my second year of 4-H, and I'm from Clinton County. Fun, excited, ready to go home. <laughs> She's drama, that's her name, and I like that she has a good attitude and she likes people. It takes a lot of long days, so it's a lot of work. <laughs> well, you have to, like, walk, show, and if you want it to act right, you might have to go to a couple jackpots and do stuff like that. And your reserve, Queen, 4-H, Gary Hecker. I'm Ellie Bolenbacher from Marshall County, and this is my seventh year in 4-H. And I just won Junior Champion or Supreme Junior Champion 
Derry Heifer. I was very shocked and surprised because when show day came around, I was a little bit late to my class and I thought I sort of missed the chance to get in there and be a big competition. So I was very shocked and surprised. Her name is Maple and she has great head carriage, spring and depth of rib and she walks very well on her feet and legs, very comfortably. I definitely want to stay involved and active and help my family coming up, stay active in the dairy and showing. And I want to go to Purdue for something with ag or ag business or something like that and just stay involved in the um, community. Be on time and <laughs> make it to your classes on time and really just have patience, work with your heifer every day, don't give up, um, show up to fairs and really take in what everyone else is doing and just learn from other people. They're very willing to help. And your Supreme Champion U from your second division, congratulations, Lily Williamson. My name is Lily Williamson. I'm from Hamilton County. This is my eighth year in 4-H, and I just won the 2023 Indiana State Fair Breeding U Show. Super excited. It's the super rewarding experience, so it's something I'll definitely never forget. So her name's Sissy. She was a bottle baby. Um, she's just always been different. I don't know, really know how to explain it. She's just always been a different sheep in the barn, and we've just always loved her. Probably go to Purdue and study animal science, but it's undecided currently. Never be afraid to step outside your comfort zone if that wasn't something I I did early on, then I never would have been able to do this. And your Supreme Champion Cow from the Milky Shorthorn Division, congratulations, Dylan Freeman. My name's Dylan Freeman, I'm from St. Joseph County, and I'm a 10th year 4-H member, and I just won Supreme Champion Dairy Milk Cow of the Indiana State Fair 4-H Show. Just an extremely happy moment, especially when my sister was announced as Reserve Supreme before I was announced as Supreme. We don't really have a sibling rivalry, me and her work together and manage our show cows, so we just happy for each other being able to both be out there and get something. My cow's name is Heavenly Zora, and she's extremely special to me because that was the first animal I've ever purchased on my own. It's a bittersweet moment because I love coming to State Fair, and I'm going to extremely miss not being able to show in the Coliseum and across the dirt every year now. Uh, I'm planning to stay at our farm and manage our show cows and then run our row crop farm. And just never give up on your goals and dreams and just keep thriving, and eventually you'll get and succeed as what you want to do with your goals.